Christo Kutsia painted this captivating work in Paris after his studies in Japan in 1959-1960. He was awarded a grant from the British Council and he aligned himself with a Gitai group of artists. They were very young post-World War II avant-garde artists who focused on the physical embodiment of the material of art making. That is exactly what Gitai mean, the physical embodiment. Uh, and you can see clear evidence of that in this particular painting where Christo molded the canvas. It wasn't just flat and straight and taut. Uh, and he also squeezed out paint uh, from, uh, directly from the tube. Uh, and he added very interesting found objects such as ping pong balls. Uh, on these that he attached to pieces of wire uh, and these balls protrude from the surface to give it almost a three-dimensional uh, quality. Christo Kutsia painted this work with the title Protest and Homage after the sensational uh, occurrence at one of the openings of his exhibition in uh, 1975 during which he took a blade and slashed the canvases on uh, exhibition. He nevertheless took those pieces and spliced them together, which you can see here, uh, to create a completely different uh, work. What is also interesting about this work uh, is the fact that he, in a sense, paid, pays homage to his own art making, because when you look closely, you will see that he used some of the articles relating that story, that dramatic story of the slashing, and uh, almost in a collage fashion, put them back on the canvas, uh, and also cutting up one of his earlier works uh, that was uh, part of that exhibition. Mm -hmm.